Hi, I'm Tarek El Zugbi from We Am, the Palestinian Conflict Transformation Center in Bethlehem, Palestine. Islamophobia is oftentimes racism, discrimination that is tied to um, religious identity, to Islam, where anti Palestinian racism is that discrimination that is based on the national identity or geographical identity of a person as being Palestinian, and they present themselves in very different way, ways. So, for instance, anti-Palestinian racism may look like denying that there are Palestinians, denying that there are historic grievances that the Palestinians have endured, such as the Great Catastrophe, or what we call the Nakba. It is denying that the Palestinians have a right to life, and so anti-Palestinian racism is targeted against Palestinians and those who support Palestinians or justice in Palestine. And it is used for the purposes of silencing, of intimidating, of neglecting, and of erasing culture, of erasing tradition, of erasing rights to life, rights to land, of erasing indigeneity. Islamophobia is used for a multitude of reasons and it's focused on oftentimes aligning Islam as anti-democratic, as violent, as anti-quote-unquote Western society, as incompatible with our morals, values, and ideals in the West for a variety of reasons. It's very important to remember and to not conflate both, because to consider anti-Palestinian racism as simply Islamophobia is to again practice anti-Palestinian racism by erasing that Palestinian identity and by failing to recognize Palestinians as a collective group, as a collective with a cultural and traditional history and identity. Right.